Hello there. I am Samaranjan Tripathi and this is our paper face scan, facial attribute controllable reenactment scan. The co-authors are Yoho Kanala and Esar Hatu. Yoho is from Alto University and Esa is from Tampere University. Let's first see what is face reenactment. Face reenactment is the process of transferring driving face's motion to source face. So if the source and driving faces are given, then we aim to generate something like reenacted face. We can generate this frame by frame and generate a complete video out of it, which is shown here. Let's see what is the current state of the reenactment models. There are two famous paths to generate reenacted face. The first one is a 3D model based which provides high quality results but it is not scalable. It is mostly confined to few famous celebrities. The another one is generative adversarial network or GAN based face reenactment. This provides high quality results for self reenactment where source and driving are from the same identity and is also scalable for them. However, it is not highly scalable or qualitative for case of cross reenactment where the source and driving faces are from different identities. Why cross reenactment suffers? All these GAN based reenactment models, they either take landmarks from the driving phase or they take some kind of horn supervised features from the driving phase to animate the source. These landmarks are highly dependable on the source or on the driving facial structure. It is shown in this image, if you have two driving images of different facial shape, then the landmarks kind of are different and that's what leads to the reenactment network to generate two different looking reenacted phrase from the same source image. So this identity leaking problem is very prominent in the current state of the art reenactment models. So we propose phase scan which uses action units from the driving phase rather than the landmarks. Action units are simply the muscle activations and they are not related to the facial shape or structure. The landmarks are also important to give a clear structure of the face which improves the quality of the final image. So we take the source landmarks and then driving units, uh, driving action units and then animate the landmarks first to have the driving emotions and pose there. Finally, we take those resulting landmarks and pass through the GAN to generate the final RGB image. So FSGAN building box has a landmark transformer that takes the action units from the driving image and landmarks from the source image pass it through a fully connected layer and generate a transform landmarks. Then these transform landmarks have a heat map representation, goes to the reenactment generator which gives the segmentation of the face and the background and we only take the face from here. Now we extracted the background from the source image and pass it to the background mixture along with the face generated from the reenactment generator to generate our final image. So to generate this background from the source image, we use a pre-trained segmentation network here. Given the face scan model, let's first see quantitatively how well it performs. The first two rows are the with landmark transformer and without landmark transformer and we can clearly see that with landmark transformer, our model achieves better CSIM and ED score. CSIM stands for how good our identity preserving qualities are and ED stands for how good the expression returning capabilities are. Next we compare our model with X2Face, FSCAN, ICFace and FOM and in each of these cases FaceCAN with landmark transformer has better CSIM, better ED and better LSIM. So LSIM gives the similarity of landmarks of the reenacted face and the source face which you want to be very similar. Let's say qualitatively how it looks. Clearly the face scan has better identity preservance than FOM and FS scan. FOM clearly takes the shape of the driving, thus how distorting the final output. In the second example, we compare the IC face along with FOM and FS scan. The IC face has better identity preserving capability, but the motions are really bad because it only operates on the action units. Next we as we have action units and background mixture, we have better uh, selective editing capability of face scan than any other method existing in the current state of the art. So here we take first with the original background and then we change the background on the fly and then the reenactment continues. So you can take one person and completely transform its environment. Same for the action units, so AU2 is related to the eyebrows. So with our model, without any driving video, we can directly manipulate these action units and as well as the pose elements to create the desired effect. Glad to answer any queries you have, just reach out to us in this email. Thanks a lot.